The first question which would come to anybody's mind is what, why can't we use linear regression for classification problems? Why do we have a separate algorithm for it? So in this video we will discuss about why linear regression cannot be used for classification cases. Let us take a small example or the example which we discussed in the previous video of customers defaulting from a bank. So one represents customers who default and zero represents customers who do not default. So let us plot them with respect to the amount of loan taken. So let's say this is the loan amount. We have the loan amount, an uh, independent variable on the x-axis and y-axis is our dependent variable which is whether a customer defaults or not. So a customer who defaults will lie at 1 here. So this is the point 1 on y-axis and this is the origin. So we will have few points here. These are customers who defaulted. We will have probably we will have more points on the right hand side because as the loan amount increases you have a greater potential to default and you will also have a few people who did not default of course. So it will look something like this. Now let's say we plot a linear line through this data. This is the data that we have and we draw a linear line through it. It may probably look something like this. So this is how the line would look like. It will have an equation beta naught plus beta 1 x1 where x1 is my loan amount. This is my y or default or not 1 or no. So this y will be 1 or 0 here. Now look at this line here. This line does not have a constraint. It is not limited within 0 and 1. It goes all the way till infinity and to minus infinity on the negative side. So there is no limitation to this line. So you might have a loan amount. For some loan amounts you might get a value which is higher than 1. So let's say for this particular loan amount you might get a value which is above 1. So maybe 5. 5 on the y-axis. Similarly for loan amounts maybe 0. So this loan amount which is very close to 0 our y is taking a negative value here. So these values will become very difficult to interpret. So what solution we expect is either 1 or 0. So this can our dependent variable can only take the value 1 or 0. But if we plot a linear regression through this data we are getting values like 5 or even negative values. So how would you interpret those values? That will become very difficult. Hence, this is one of the reasons why linear regression cannot be used for categorical data because a linear regression has no bounds. The output of a linear regression can take any number between minus infinity to plus infinity. So interpreting those numbers as a category will become very difficult. This is one reason why linear regression cannot be used for classification cases. The other reason is also very similar. Now one of the assumptions of linear regression was that the dependent variable should have a linear relationship with the independent variable. This was one of the assumptions of linear regression. But if you see this data, we do not see a linear relationship between dependent and independent. This is not at all possible. We have some points at 1 and some points at 0. There is no linear relationship between the dependent and independent variable here. So this is also a violation of linear regression assumptions and hence linear regression will not perform well if it is forced to fit on a classification data. So these are some reasons why we cannot use linear regression in case of a classification problem and this is why we resort to a separate algorithm which we will discuss in the next video.